kids stories and more is here so let's all gather near art and cooking movement too reading science all for you jump and shout and cheer hooray kids stories and more is here today hi everyone it's d nice here in honor of valentine's day i thought i would make a sensory bin oh what's a sensory bin well first you need a bin and then you fill it and i brought black beans today straight from the dollar store I'm going to fill it up and use all the items that i found around the house and some some i found at the dollar store and start to dig into my sensory bin these all have a theme to them in honor of valentine's day red white and pink february 14th so let's begin and while I begin opening up my bags of black beans, we'll explain what is so important about sensory bin. Well, first of all, it keeps the kids busy for such a long time. And if it's a big bin like this, it really isn't messy. Second of all, it's working with fine motor. And fine motor at this age is really important for being able to hold utensils, your pencil, cutting scissors, developing some muscle in your palm and in your fingers. So here we go. I'm putting four bags of black beans in my bin. I've used this bin before and the fact that it is so tall never leaves a mess. I never have to clean up. And I've put rice in here. I've actually made uh, sand, and edible sand. There are recipes for that. Okay, oh, I love the feel of it. And the kids do too, the texture of it. I could just stay here and calmly play with this. It feels so relaxing. Now, what's the next thing I'm going to do? Well, I'm going to bury in here some of the items that I found around the house and at the dollar store that relate to our theme. What's our theme? Valentine's Day. So, I found balloons, red, white, and pink. I found some glass hearts, throw that in. Oh, I found some beads, throw that in. Found my cookie cutters, throw that in. Cotton balls, why not? They're white. Then pom poms, well, I have the pink, hmm, the white, seven here, the red. There we go. And I found these awesome little stamps here that you can just throw in and there's stickers too at the behind her you can just peel it and then you can use it as a sticker okay that looks like a lot let's see if we can look inside and see what we do now I'm stirring it up mixing it all up it's going to get buried now my bin is all set up I would suggest that you put the items in first and then fill it up with whatever you're using, rice or beans or sand. Now, I brought from the dollar store the tweezers. Tweezers are great for that fine motor. And then I just went into my drawer with all of my utensils and found some items that I can use that I know that the children love doing, digging. Now let's grab. Okay, so let's use the tweezers. Okay, here we go. Down into the bin we go, and I'm going to find a red one. Come on. <gasps> red. Perfect. Now here's the idea I have. We could also include sorting and categorizing. So what I did was take three empty cups and I put a crayon in each. Obviously, you can see that I did red, white, and pink. 
And what I would do is once I found that color, I would put it in the correct cup. So this first one looks to me like it's pink, so I drop it in the pink one. Then I go in and I search and I go, oh, 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 wow, this item looks like it's red. So I'm going to put it in the red cup. How about this? This item is white. So I, of course, put it in the white cup. And you can continue to have so much fun. I use balloons. What color is that, everyone? Put it in the white cup. No, the pink cup. What else can I find? Here's a sticker. Oh, that's got two colors in it. What color would you like it to be? You want it to be pink? Sure. Pink it is. And how about one of my cookie cutters? Cookie cutters is red. Then that would go in the red cup. And so on. I have all sorts of items in here, and I'm sure you can find items in your home without spending a penny and having a ton of fun using any one of the items that mommy might have in the kitchen. Just digging and scooping or getting your hands in there and feeling all the different textures. Oh, I found a pom-pom. Oh, pom-pom, you go in the red. It's so much fun and it's using your imagination and keeps you occupied for quite a while. So enjoy this activity. I know I am. Happy Valentine's Day. Come back and see us soon at Kids Stories and More. Subscribe, like, and I'm just gonna have fun. D-Nice says, do something nice. Mimi's message, put a smile on someone's face today. Friend shake. Ooh, boom, boom. Air high five, air high five. Spin, shake, see you soon.